What's up guys, Big Papa Drock back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, it is 2x Void, and as you can see, I've got an absurd amount of Void Shards. So we are going all in for the one and only Georgid the Breaker. We got the 2x, we got a 10x. I don't know if I'm going to pull every single shard, to be completely honest with you, uh, because I've got a ton, and I really wanted a Krizia. And something tells me, knowing Plarium, that they're probably going to have a 10x on a Krizia sometime soon again. You just never know. So I'll, I'll pull until I feel content. Um, but before we get to that, I hope everyone's having a wonderful holiday season. It's Hanukkah. It's about to be Christmas from the time I'm recording this. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful time with your family, doing something fun with your friends. Uh, with the people that you love um and maybe that includes raid shadow legends it probably does if you're watching this video so without further ado let's get into it let's see what we get 813 void shards this is the most shards i've ever had um i anticipated they'd have a georgia 10x they have the georgia 10x so let's see if we get them and you know fingers crossed anyway let it rip right away we're gonna fast pull to start out because honestly we've got tons of shards here uh and as we can see we're getting getting no golds as of yet main champions that i want to see um out of this 2x and this 10x is obviously georgian that would be probably the top one from this the number two or or really actually the one i want the most is a krizia though uh krizia just able to do so many things with her you can do uh, auto nightmare teams without any issues. Sand Devils, Necropolis, everything. She is one of the best champions in the entire game, and I don't have her, uh, so it would be nice to get her. Um, so we'll see. So far, not not getting nothing right now. The uh, the two X doesn't appear to be on at the moment. Uh, the last time I did a big void shard video, I think I went something like two hundred shards without pulling a Lego. Um, so let's see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hey, it's a Raglan. Raglan. That's actually not bad. I've got a... Let's go in here. I'm pretty sure I have a plus two Raglan. So we can empower her right now and get her cooking even further. There she is. Empower her up. Boom. Yes. Plus three Raglan. Let's go. But that's not what we're here for. That's not what we're here for. We've almost gone through 100 shards. No Georgia yet. Back in we go. Fingers crossed. We'll do some slow pulls now that we've done some fast ones. Let's see what we get. Who is your most wanted champion in this game? I mean, they've added so many recently that it's, it's you know, your odds of getting what you want off of the 10Xs on voids are going further and further down. Kind of like what you see on the... Oh, okay, here we go. Hey, there he is. Oh, let's go, baby. Oh, the second Lego we pull. Oh, I got the double. It's a, oh, it's Jing Wan. Oh, God, it's Jing Wan. Oh, come on. That's still a double, though. It's still a double. Let's freaking go. The beast. We've got him. He's got dead rats on the back of his body for some weird reason. Apparently, this nutcracker, like, well, maybe it's, is he killed? They look like Nish, 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 Nick? No, 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 whatever. Point being, this champion is a freaking beast for an arena nuker. Just an absolute monster. The A1, you can repeat the attack, which is absolutely nuts. You got the attacks all enemies and decreases turn meter, and it can't be resisted. Again, insane, plus it places the unkillable. So it's almost like a Leorius if you get to go first and actually kill someone. And then this one, obviously, this, this, this ability is just busted. This is the anti necrit this is the anti stone skin. This is the anti everything in that you can just go right through it all, ignore it all. And if you kill someone, and this is what makes this ability so good, because you can technically open with this in platinum arena. If you kill someone, you can go again. And oh, we can't forget his broken passive. That's right. He has a 50% chance to ignore 50% of the target's defense from each hit. So basically he's got Baron's sky piercer ability potentially on every single hit what a monster champion jingwan i mean it's jingwan we, we 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 all hate jingwan i'm not even gonna go over his abilities jingwan sucks anyway what a what a way to start we're only about 120 shards in i think let, let, let's let, let's let's do some more the luck may be on our side today 
Oh man, now watch this go super cold because I I know how this game is. Like we got we got what we came for, and now watch the game say, you know what? That's enough, Drock. You've gotten your you got what we what we promised you. There will be no Acrisia. There will be no you know the other champion I I don't have that I really want is Solus. Actually, still to this day, still don't have a Solus, but by far number one champion without a doubt got to be Acrisia. It's it's the it's. Oh, she's just such a game changer. And I, I look at these videos of other creators putting together their insane teams and the stuff she can do. And uh, the jealousy is real, folks. The jealousy is real. But hey, we got a Georgian, which is nuts. We got the champion on a 10X and we got it on in our first 100 shards, uh, which is just the most ludicrous. That's phenomenal luck. So no matter how the rest of the video goes, we got to be pretty happy. Again, Jing Wan is awful and nobody wants him but you know what doesn't matter because we got the 10x and i can't wait to uh to get georgia up to speed uh the other question is can we get another georgia i don't know do we get another georgia do we get an acrisia do we get nothing we are just about 100 what 150 140 shards in uh so let me feed some champs and uh we'll, we'll pull some more we'll pull some more why not i'll be right back okay we are back we fed some champions now let's pull some more shards so part of why i'm also considering pulling all of my shards beyond just like starting off with streamer luck because clearly that was pretty big streamer luck right there uh is the champion chase tournament now torment the cold isn't super useful for me personally uh, but i have a plus three torment and it would be pretty nice to get him to plus four just in case you never know you never know how metas change you never know what may what may occur Maybe he comes back into the meta. Maybe he becomes super, super good again. Um, so it's always good. You know, plus four champions are super, super strong. So we'll see. You know, we'll pull at least another 100 shards, and we'll see how I feel. We'll see if we get lucky. I mean, we've already had phenomenal luck so far. A Raglan, a Georgid, and Jing Wan. Uh, you know, you can't really complain with three Legos out of, what, 120, 130 shards. The rate as Machan would say, is phenomenal. Now the question is, can we get some more meta champs? Can we get a Solus, which I don't have? Can we get an Acrisia, which I don't have? Those are the top of the list. A Raka would also be great as well. I don't have her also. Uh, so let's see. I don't know. You know, but either way, I'm super happy. This video has already started off. I think the last shard opening video I did, I didn't pull, uh, I did an extra legendary event on ancient shards. And I didn't pull Lego at all. And so uh, this is a, a welcome change. Uh, the Christmas spirit clearly is with Plarium right now. And uh, there, Santa has shown up for Big Papa Drock, which I greatly appreciate. So let's see. Let's see if we can get another Lego. We should get at least... Let's, we'll get at least one more Lego with this. Let's do some fast pulls. Rip through them. Rip through them. Rip on through. Purples and blues and... Yeah, Urgrim, he's cool. Got nerfed, obviously. Faceless, actually kind of more useful for a lower level arena than people might think. Just because it's ignore defense ability. Warcaster, you can believe you can use him in clan boss stuff. Just rip on through more Urgrims. Is Urgrim on a 2x? Lightsworn, Demitha. Nice, you know, nice epics here. Nice epics, but uh, not what we're looking for. We're looking for, we're looking for gold, baby. We're looking for at least one more gold. Come on. The fast pulls are letting me down today, folks. Every time I fast pull, it, it does not want to uh, want to come through. Uh, no, more uh, seer, seer, phenomenal. Uh, the epics are great. Dang, not wow. What was uh, that? Was how many shards was that? That was another one hundred and thirty shards. So now the rate's slowing down. Okay, we're 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 gonna go till we get at least one more Lego. So let me feed some more. And uh, let's see if we get lucky with one more. With one more Lego, let's check the actual champion turn. Let's see my tournament. How uh, how far off? How do I? What do I have to have to win my tourney? Uh, it looks like uh, this guy's got forty four thousand points. I'm sitting at thirty one thousand. I could win this tournament easily, but do I want to? I don't know. We'll see. All right, let me go feed some champions. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We've got five hundred and thirty three shards left. And we've got, we can pull 100 right now. So we should definitely get at least one Lego in this bout of pulling. Uh, there's another fast pull. You know, the fast pull, I'm, I'm not fast pulling anymore. You know, I don't know. The fast pull is not working. Let's do a slow pull and see if we get lucky here. 
you really don't want to hit your mercy on a uh, on a two X event. You know what I mean? It, it it feels it feels bad, man. You know what I mean? It feels bad. Uh, again, we had incredible luck to start, but it has cooled off in a very drastic way so far. We've opened 300 shards, and we've gotten exactly the amount of Legos you would expect. We've gotten three. Uh, so you're hoping to have better luck than that. You're hoping to beat the odds uh, and certainly not to come in below the odds. So let's see. Let's see if, if uh, we can get at least one or two more. One or two more. You know? Uh, oh, here we go. Speak of the devil. Oh, you son. You. Ah, oh, Vlad. Mm. Oh, oh, another double pull. Damn it. Come on. That is pain, folks. That is a uh, that is pain right there. Double a double pull again. And it's Vlad and it's your Carl. And the worst part is I have a plus four Vlad. This game loves giving me Vlad's. He's actually not as bad as people think, but oh my God, your Carl. Come on, man. The double, come on. Oh, you know, I can't be upset. It's a double pull. It's exciting. Even if it's Vlad and your Carl. All right, come on. We can't, we, we can't end on that. We can't end on that. I mean, we, we, we got to pull some more. We got to pull some more, right? You can't have Vlad and your Carl be the, uh, the last two Legos you pull. That's, that's an affront an affront to the raid gods. So let's 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 rip some more out and see. But once again, see, we didn't fast pull. I'm telling you right now, maybe I'm superstitious, but this game sometimes sometimes it makes you think like maybe maybe there's something in the code. You know, you slow I don't know, do you guys slow pull? Do you fast pull? What's your uh, what's your preference? Does do you even care? Do you mix it up like I do? But hey, the rate's good again. So we're sitting on what is that? 5 Legos total out of about 400 maybe 500 shards so the rates the rates okay it's right the, the rates where it's supposed to be uh but i i tell you what though if, we're, if we get close to mercy again i'm gonna call it off and uh hold on to some shards for the inevitable acrisia 10x because that champion is just too good and is truly an account changer even for end game players like me like that, that champion, like George is amazing and obviously phenomenal for arena or appears to be. Um, but frankly, if I were going to pick between the two, I would actually, I think, pick a because she can just drastically improve and change your account in so many different areas. All the dungeons, Hydra, clan boss, doesn't matter. She is the best, uh, in pretty much all of them. So you know, it's 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 always dangerous when you're pulling on a, a 2x because you just don't know what's gonna pop up. Maybe it's Jingwan, maybe it's a Georgian. Uh, so there we go. So how many shards are we down to now? So we're down to 433. So we're a little over halfway. So I will, I'll rip out another Hundo and see if we get a Lego, and then maybe I'm gonna call it. You know what I mean? We'll we'll call it while we're ahead. Let's check the tourney again. Where are we at here? We're sitting uh, sitting pretty. We're about to be in first place. Not a bad place to be. Let's go feed some more champions. I'll be right back. We've got 433 shards left. Let's go. Let's pull some more. I'm surprised we've only gotten one Georgia, though. I'm, uh, the 10x usually on voids is is pretty good. You know what I mean? So I'm very surprised that of uh, that of all the, the five Legos we pulled, only one was a Georgia. I figured for sure we'd get uh, at least at least two off these pulls so i don't know let's see if we get another one we can plus we can plus one of them then we can uh you can make him a beast but again acrisia is still still the number one champ and, and solace how have i not gotten a solace they never run like it i saved up shards for close to a year truly like void shards waiting for the solus 10x and then it came out and i didn't get them um and i think that was they hadn't had a solus 10x in a year which is nuts so would like to get Solus. Would really like to get a Krizia. Would like to get a Raka. Those are the three we want to see. And of course, another Georgia isn't bad. Um, you know, Void Legos. There's only a handful you really don't want, like Jing Wong. <laughs> Vlad would probably be up there. We pulled. We pulled a couple of the Void Legos that nobody wants to see. That everyone's bummed. Like, oh no. It obviously hurts less because I have quite a few shards. So you know, I can't. Again, I can't be upset. Any Legos better than none. Uh, but you definitely want to see more of a Sifi, 
you know, any any other void Lego typically. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a coronar. Okay. All right. You know, yeah. He's okay. He's nothing, he's nothing to get excited about, in all honesty. Um, he's not super useful like he once was. I mean, sometimes going up against him in arena can be frustrating on tag team if you don't have the right team set up just because his ability to decrease turn meter when he's on the same team as Manaya. But hey, you know what? Definitely better than a Vlad, better than a Jing Wong. So we can't be upset. We'll take any kind of goal. Can we get one more off this hundred? Can we get one more? One more Lego. And can it be a meta Lego? Can it be a sick meta Lego? Can it be an Acrisia? So I can scream and shout and get excited. Or can it be a Solus or a Raka? But can it be an Acrisia? What do you say? Or another Georgian? Oh, here we go. We got one. Hey, it's a Raka! Yes, we will take that. Let's go. Raka is a great champion. Great champion. You can do a lot of awesome things with her. Uh, she's a great, like, she's got a solid, solid ability to uh, heal here off the A1. So heals the ally with the lowest HP by 10% of the champion's max P HP. Not bad at all. She cleanses. She increases attack, which is huge. And she puts a shield buff on. Not bad. And then, of course, she's got a Duchess-esque revive uh, and a block debuff on that. Now, this is interesting because it will place a block debuff even if there are no dead allies. So she'll use this ability even if no one is dead, which is, that's always kind of tough when you're trying to do auto stuff. But she's a great champion. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And again, fills the turn meters on the, on the uh, active effect on this, which is on a two-turn cooldown once booked. And puts a 15% continuous heal buff in the alley with the lowest HP for two turns. And that's passive on every turn. That is awesome. What a great champion. And again, a champion I don't have. Let's go. So we've gotten two champs today that I didn't have. We got to pull some more. Screw it. We're all in, baby. 813 void shards. I'm not pulling them all. I've already decided. I'm not going to pull them all. I can't. Uh, I, I know the Acrisia 10X. I know Plarium. We all know Plarium, and if you don't think that they'll put an Acrisia 10X on in the next couple months, you're crazy, because every whale, every kraken needs an Acrisia. Uh, so just be aware of that. There's always some kind of goofy shard event that comes out right after you pull a ton of shards, and you have no shards left, and then you're like, well, should I buy more shards? And uh, of course, if you're an idiot like me, you buy more shards, but... Uh, if you are not a whale or a kraken, then you wish you had more shards. And of course, you already used all the shards. It's tough. Uh, but for value, though, for the normal player, 2x voids is definitely the time to pull if you're pulling for void champs. Uh, and then when they have a 10x on, you really can't go wrong on a 2x as well. So this is the best of both worlds. I really wish that they would start adjusting the 10x rates, though. If you look at the 10x rates on regular uh, regular champs, it's uh, it's pretty brutal nowadays. Your percentage chance of getting what you're looking for is super low. Um, all right, let's take a look at the champion training event here. Do we do we do we pull more? We've got 300 plus shards left. We're up we're up by over 10,000 now, so we're in line to get the the torm in the cold. And again, I only want him so I can plus three him, or plus four him, I mean. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll do, this is my best champion right now, by the way. Not in terms of stats, but fully awakened Herndig. I want to do a video on this, a plus four fully awakened Herndig. Um, but, uh, okay, we'll, we'll pull a little more. We'll pull one more round. One more round, but then that's it. And then we're done. All right, be right back. All right, we're back, and I think this is going to be the last. So by the time this is done, we'll have pulled how many shards? 600 Void Shards by the time this is done. Um, we'll have probably around 200 plus left in case they do a crazy Plarium thing and do a Crazia. But you know what? 600 Void Shards is a lot of Void Shards. Again, I have to be pretty happy with the pulls today. We got two champions we didn't have. We had two different double pulls, which is always exciting. So it's been a, a really good Shard pull session here. Uh, which is wonderful because as, as the time of recording, it's about to be Christmas. Uh, so Merry Christmas to me. Um, 
let's see 100 shards left or 100 shards that we're gonna pull left let's see if we can get one more just one more lego and make it a solace or an acrisia yeah make it an acrisia oh my god here it is damn it it's a fortis oh god ah oh, he's so bad he's so bad even after they buffed him he's still terrible uh, i have one but you know what it's yellow we asked for another lego they gave it to us can't complain it may be one that we didn't want i pulled three i hate to say i pulled a couple really great legos today right and look at the 10x rates right Look at the 10x rates. So it's a 10x for Georgia right now and a 2x on boy charts. I only pulled one. And we've pulled something like seven Legos now. Six at least, six or seven. And only one of those was a Georgian. Like how nuts is that? That's so crazy. Every time they add champions, it just dilutes the pull further. You know, makes it makes it harder and harder to get the champion that they that you want. And I really think they've got to increase the rates, especially for the average player, right? If you're the average player, uh, you know, of the game, you're not spending money on shards like this. You're not pulling this astronomical amount of shards. How do you get the champion that you're going for? You know what I mean? It's, it's damn near impossible. So I'd really like to see Plarium increase the rates. Let's get a 25X. You know what I mean? Let's get a 25X. Let's give you... That's still, by the way, even on Void Shards, still... I believe less than a 50% chance to pull the champion that you want at this point, or maybe right around 50% chance. So it's still only a half, but right now as it, as it is like the, the rates are just tough because of how many champions they've added. And again, if you're pulling on sacred shards or if you're pulling on ancient shards, I mean, good luck, good luck at getting the 10 X champ because your rates are almost zero. So, okay, well we've played, we, we pulled what we pulled three non meta champs. Fortis, Vlad, Jingwan. There was another one we pulled that I don't remember. That was that was not good. I'll have to take a look at the end. We'll take a look and see. You'll have to forgive me. It's been a crazy week for me. Um, so let's see if we can get one more, one more Lego, or if the Fortis is going to end it again. Can't be upset. We had some great pulls. Got a Georgia. Got a Raka. Got a got another Raglan to make a plus three. Uh, so you can't really be upset. Some good pulls overall. I am I am very pleased with the pulls today. Uh, much better than the last time I pulled. I pulled 140 shards uh, in my last video, I believe, and did not get a single Lego. Well, that's it, guys. We're out. We're done. Let's take a look at the tourney. Where are we sitting? We're sitting pretty uh we got a commanding lead at this point commanding lead for tormund the cold to plus four tormund beyond that let's take a look at the champs that we pulled today i already leveled up the georgid so we've got georgid in here which is awesome we got raka jingwan yakarl that's the other one we pulled yeah yakarl not not i mean definitely way better than he was after his buff he can be sneaky in the arena with his freeze, uh, but for me personally, not not a not an awesome pull. But you know what? Again, can't complain. We got Raka, which is a brand new champion for me. Super excited about that, and we got the guy we were looking for, which is Georgid the Breaker. So super excited to build this champion and uh, see what he can do. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for me. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season if you're watching this. Uh, at the time that it comes out um i hope your pulls are phenomenal and you get all the legos you're hoping for and uh that you dominate your competition uh, that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching i'll see you soon big papa drock out